Oh shit, see you chillin' and I'm not about this. You know what I'm saying? Back in the day, hey, they don't make them like this no more. Yo. You know? Perk the shit. Molly perk the shit. What you know about that? You know about that? Hey, you hear the flu? You hear the flu? This a classic. Hey, mask on. Fuck your mask on. Hey. I hate to be the bearer of bad news here, but I think this filter has definitely replaced the dog filter as Snapchat's cutest face filter. You get it? Bearer? Cause it's a bear? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, the pun was stupid. It was a little bit... Embarrassing! <laughs> hey, alright, I'm done, I'm done. I know these buns are getting unbearable. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know you guys can barely stand these buns, but just bear with me. Ah, I stood one. I stood one. Oh my god. Okay, <laughs> the bear puns are dead. I'm gonna bury them. <laughs> with my bear hands. Uh, I just wanted to flex on y'all real quick. Just got this new sectional. Okay? Still balling. I ain't trying to stun on y'all too hard or nothing, but I'm just saying the recliners are electric. <laughs> Still balling. Now, say you just chilling on the couch and you got a nice cold glass of water. You need somewhere to put that in? Well, we got that. Cup holders in the couch. Still balling, bitch. Sitting on the couch, your phone start to die, right, bitch? We got outlets. We got chargers in the couch. We got USB ports. Still balling, bitch. Say you sitting home late at night, right? You just chill on the couch trying to read a book, but it's too dark, you can't see. Oh, oh, lights in the couch, still balling, bitch. Hey, I'm a Chief Keep style start on y'all real quick. Hey, still balling, still balling. This whole, this whole TV bigger than my whole 20 years of life, boy. Fuck your couch. <laughs> story time, bitch. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all about the first time I smoked weed. Now I know what you're thinking, Mike. Really? Marijuana? You were smoking on the devil's lettuce? How could you? What about the children, Mike? You're supposed to be a role model, and you out here smoking weeds and doing God knows what else. And to those people, uh, grow up, okay? Right, so I was 18, and up until this point, I was completely against weed. Like, if you were my friend and you smoked, uh, you're not my friend no more, you fucking pothead. I was out of high school, I was starting to get a little curious. I was like, you know... I want to see what all the hype's about. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I want to smoke a little weed. You know? So for like weeks, I'm just sitting here debating on whether I should or not. You know what I'm saying? I had the devil and the angel on my shoulders sitting here arguing in my ears and shit. You know what I'm talking about? So half of me's like, no, Mike, don't smoke no damn weed. You know what they say? It's a gateway drug. Do you want to be a fucking crackhead? I didn't think so. Don't smoke no damn weed. The other half of me was like, uh, I don't want to be no crackhead, but I mean, I don't know. You never tried it. I'm just saying, you might like it. I don't know. I'm finally like, bet, I'm not no bitch. Fuck it, I'm 18. If I want to smoke some reefer, I can do that, right? Now, where can I find some reefer? I thought of my pothead little cousin, right? I go over there, I'm like, what's up? You want to, uh, you know, you want to you smoke some weed? Now, he knew how against weed I was, right? So he was trying to play it off. He was like, I, I don't smoke no weed. I'm like, boy. You're high right now. He was like, nah, Mike, I know you. If I pull out some weed, you're going to take it from me and flush down the toilet. This a trap. I'm like, bruh, it's not a trap. You know, I've been thinking, and, you know, I don't know. I might like it. So, you know, you, you want to you get me high? Why are potheads always so excited to get someone else high for the first time? It was like I just asked him to be my best man at my wedding. He was like, I would be honored. So he gets all serious, he was like, what you want? I got bombs, bowls, blunts, joints, shit, we can even smoke out this apple. I was like, uh, bowl, sound cool. Now, I only picked a bowl out of curiosity, because I thought he meant like a cereal bowl, so I was thinking like, you know, yeah, I want to see how that worked, you know, how we gonna smoke out a cereal bowl? Come to find out, a bowl is actually like a little glass weed pipe, you know what I'm saying? You put your weed in it, so, yeah, the more you know, right? So he grabs the stuff and we go out to the treehouse. A fucking treehouse, right? I'm chilling in the treehouse with my pothead little cousin. Gee, I wonder what they're fucking doing. So we smoked one and he was like, you feel high yet? And I was like, I don't know. Five bowl packs later, he was like, you feel it yet? I was like, 
I don't know. Like, why did we smoke that much? Like, one was enough to get me high, and, and we smoked five. So I'm like high times five right now. <laughs> high five. So we go back inside, I'm chilling on the couch, and when I tell y'all that I was higher than the price of gas, like, I didn't even know what I didn't know, okay? This was me. Hey, bro, is that clock broken? Because I swear I looked at that shit like two hours ago, and it hasn't even moved. And you got any Cocoa Puffs? <laughs> oh, I was sitting on the couch for probably like two, maybe three days. Uh, or at least that's what it felt like. And then I fell asleep. And that was it. All in all, I'd say it was a pretty good experience. You know what I'm saying? I learned a lot about myself and shit. And I guess weed ain't so bad after all. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a crackhead or anything. So, I mean, not yet. <laughs> Hey guys, fun fact about me, I just, I really love respecting women, you know, that's just one of the things that I'm just so passionate about. It's actually one of my hidden talents, you know, right next to cup stacking, I'm just, I'm really good at it, I'm just so good at just respecting the shit out of some women. You know, I just see a beautiful woman, and, you know, I just want to respect her, you know, just respect the shit out of her, you know. So yeah, what I'm trying to say is, if you're being disrespected by your man right now, uh, just send me nudes, I, naked pic, uh, just a message, and I will respect that. So I just got out of the library, and as I was leaving, a little door sensor started beeping. You know what I'm saying? I said to say that I was stealing a book or something. So I froze. I started looking around for my receipt and shit. I throw my hands up in the air to prove my innocence. I start walking backwards slowly, and then the librarian was like, oh, don't worry, you can go. You don't look like the type that would steal a book anyway. What? First of all, Eugene, how the fuck you gonna look like you steal books? Who fits that description? And second of all, joke's on you because I am stealing books. I'm walking out this bitch with all kinds of books. And that, my friends, is why you should never judge a book by its cover. And you'd think he would have known that, you know what I'm saying? He's a librarian. Put the fun in funeral, okay? Just one last time for me. Just get fucking lit, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to slip and slide there and everything. And the slip and slide might really suck for y'all too, because whether I die in the winter or the summer, I still want the slip and slide. Somebody has to get like a Hollywood quality Grim Reaper outfit and just show up to my funeral and point at people, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, if you aren't willing to die at my funeral, just don't even bother showing up, because you might, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be lit. <laughs> like, I want people talking about it, you know what I'm saying? Did you go to Mike's funeral? That shit was jumping, bro. They had bitches everywhere. <laughs> bitches better twerk on my casket. That's all. I mean, not bitches. Okay? Respectable women. I want respectable women twerking on my casket. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. Uh, nobody can carpool. I want everybody driving separately so the line behind the hearse is just long as shit. You know what I'm saying? I want to fuck up traffic that day. <laughs> So I got this really nice tree in my front yard, really beautiful, I like it and everything, but every spring, uh, it starts to smell like Medusi outside. So I don't know if y'all know anything about trees or ever seen these trees or just probably walk by them, but um, every time they start to blossom, they turn beautiful white, but smell like Medusi. And that's something that I gotta deal with, you know what I'm saying? Guests come over, they be walking inside, they're like, it smell like Medusi out here. I'm like, I know, it's the Medusi tree. What y'all don't know what Badusi is? It's butt, dick, and pussy. Just smacks you in the face as soon as you walk outside. Disgusting! Alright, everybody been telling me I gotta do another story. Somebody even said if I don't do one soon, they gonna pull up on me with the Draco. So, I guess I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, yeah, story time, bitch. And I'm not in my car for this one. <laughs> I'm on my couch. You know what I'm saying? Still balling. Alright, I'm gonna tell y'all about the time my dad knocked me out with a baseball. <laughs> So I'm like nine years old, I just got this new baseball glove, which I don't really know why, because I never played no damn baseball, so I don't know what the hell they got me the glove for, but anyway. So I'm like, Dad, let's go play catch, and he was like, not now, and I'm like, really? You're not going to play catch with your son? I'm, I'm just your little son, Dad. You're not going to play catch with the new glove? So he's like, alright, we go outside, we start playing catch, and my dad is real competitive, so a game of catch to him ain't a game, like, you better catch that damn ball, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, I didn't play no baseball, so 
I wasn't catching nothing. And my dad started getting mad. He was like, see, that's why I didn't want to bring your ass out here. Can't even catch a damn ball. Now, keep in mind, I'm only nine years old, so I'm starting to get a little upset, right? I go pick up the ball with tears in my eyes and shit. I'm like, I can catch a ball. Now, my dad got this real special way of getting inside my head to make sure that I excel at every single thing that I do. And uh, it was just talking shit. He just talked shit to me until I did it good. <laughs> so that's what he did. He started talking shit to me. He would throw the ball and I'd miss. And he'd be like, see, you can't catch for shit, you little girl. You miss again, I'm going back inside. Now I'm mad, I start to get emotional. I was like, man, I'm not no little girl. I start catching every single thing he throws at me. I wasn't missing a thing. I was like, you ain't never going back inside, dad. Now it's on, right? And I'm heated, so I'm on fire. So I start talking shit back. I was like, is that all you got? You throw like a little girl. <laughs> By the way, that's me throwing as a, as a nine-year-old. That was me, the grunt and everything. <laughs> Now, like I said, my dad is real competitive, so he's not losing this game of catch to no nine-year-old, right? So he starts throwing it as hard as he can. He's like, I don't throw like no girl. Now, at this point, this game of catch has become a game of, like, throw the ball as hard as you can at each other's fucking face. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I think y'all can guess what happened after that. I missed one, and I got hit in my fucking face. <laughs> like, it hit me in my eye, and I just... I just felt my body was going to shut down. Like, I dropped to my knees. I saw the light. I was like, take me, Jesus. And I passed out. Now my dad got to go drag my lifeless body back inside. You know what I'm saying? Neighbors coming out and shit. What happened? Like, just knock my kid out with a baseball, Bob. Mind your business. And so, yeah, that's basically it. I woke up five minutes later. You know what I'm saying? I was like, what happened? And my dad was like, you lost. That's what happened, you little girl. And I ain't never played catch since. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna tell you about the time I had to fight a dog. A dog. And I beat that bitch ass too. Somebody called Peter. All right, before y'all say anything, keep in mind that this was self-defense. Okay, I'm not out here just beating up people's dogs, but this one in particular had to get the mittens. All right, so I'm like 15 years old. I just got this new puppy, right? Rottweiler puppy, had him for like two weeks. Cute as hell. You know what, here's a picture. Aww. Now, before y'all start jumping any crazy conclusions, that's not the dog I had to fight, okay? I fought a fully grown dog. I wouldn't fight a puppy. I'm not a fucking savage. Anyway, I'm like, I need to take my puppy for a little walk. You know what I'm saying? Give him some exercise and shit. Plus, I could probably attract some girls on the way, you know what I'm saying? Girls like cute puppies. On this walk, and this random ass dog comes out the cut, like, runs up to us out of nowhere. Pokemon battle music starts to play and everything. It was like, a wild Labrador has appeared. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I'm just standing there all confused, looking around for this dog's owner. I look at the dog, I was like, uh, are you lost, bro? Uh, he didn't answer me, he don't speak English. This dog starts checking out my puppy, right? And everything's all cool until he tries to sniff my puppy's butt. And my mans was having no parts in that. So my puppy turned around so fast, like, he was not about to let no random ass, stinky pedophile retriever sniff up in his butt, okay? So now there's beef, right? Because my puppy just rejected this dog's booty play. So now they're just standing there staring at each other, sizing each other up, you know what I'm saying? Now, my puppy was way smaller, right? Because it's a fully grown dog, but he's not no bitch, right? So he's standing there like, what's up, bruh? What you want to do, cuz? I don't know what he says to piss this dog off, but he tries to attack my puppy, and I turn into Mama Bear protecting her little cub, right? I was like, no! So I yank my puppy behind me, and this demented-ass dog tries to lunge for my puppy, okay? Big mistake. I reach down, I was like, Nink! I snuffed this perverted pooch, right? He jumps back, he don't know what the hell just hit him. Now he's scared, but he still wants to fight my puppy, right? So he's keeping his distance and, like, walking circles around us. And I'm just standing in front of my precious puppy. Now my natural predator instincts start to kick in because I smell his fear, right? I start getting hyped. I start talking shit to this dog. A dog. I'm standing in the middle of the street squaring up with a dog right now. A dog. Okay? I don't give a fuck about nothing. Like, what's up, bitch? What's up? You want some more? Touch my puppy again. I'm gonna knock your bitch ass out. My puppy start talking shit too, right? He's looking between my legs like, what's up? Yeah, you heard him. Touch me again. He gonna knock your bitch ass out. At this point, the owner of the dog is finally outside, but he's not doing anything to defuse the situation. Like, he's kind of just standing there watching it all happen. Like, dude, control your dog. He was like, what am I supposed to do? I was like, 
Uh, I don't know. Grab him, maybe? That might help. Shit you not. This is exactly what this man does. He stands there, starts snapping his fingers, and goes, Do it. Do it. Do it. You know those parents that can't get control of their kids, so they go get a leash for them? Yeah, well, that was this guy with his dog. Except he didn't have a fucking leash. Do it. Do it. Man, go grab your dog before I have to beat his ass. So he finally grabs his dog, everything's all cool, right? I start to walk away, and he's like, hey man, your puppy's really cute. My, my puppy's really cute. My puppy almost got murdered, okay? My puppy's cute. Yeah, my puppy's gonna be real cute when he's a fully grown savage beast, and I bring him back up here for a rematch with Dewey. Bet you grab your dog then. Yeah, uh, that's the story about how I had to fight a dog. Um, honestly, I think I'm a hero, okay? I'm out here saving puppies and shit, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Show the picture one more. Show the fucking picture. Oh, he's so fucking cute. Before I say anything, a lot of people on my Snap been asking me for my Twitter. There it is. I don't know how y'all don't have it already. They're calling me the king of Twitter right now. They said it, not me. Anyway, I just hit 100K on Twitter, so uh, it's only right to tell a story. You know what I'm saying? Hmm? Hmm? I'm starting to get a little personal. I'm going to tell y'all how I got expelled from school in the ninth grade. Uh, ask anyone around my way. This shit really happened. Before y'all start saying stupid shit, uh, I still graduated on time, got my diploma and everything, so don't judge me, bitch. Anyway, I'm in the ninth grade. I'm at the high school football game, it's Friday night, and I'm just over here talking shit about this girl, you know what I'm saying? Ninth grader shit. I don't know if she overheard me, or somebody told her, or what, but she found out. So she come up to me, she like, what's up? I'm not even aware that she knows yet, so I think she flirting with me or something. I'm like, not much, boo. What's up with you? She was like, I heard you was talking shit. I'm like, uh, where'd you hear that from? She was like, bitch, were you talking shit? Now, y'all know I'm not no bitch, right? Now I'm like, oh, yeah, I said it. It was me. I was talking shit. Bitch, what of it? She was like, oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to tell these dudes I know to jump you. Now, y'all should already know what I said to that. Like, bet I'm not no bitch. Tell them. Matter of fact, call them right now. Tell them come on up here because I could use a good ass whooping tonight. Start to realize how crazy she is when she pulls out her phone and actually calls these dudes. So I'm getting scared now. I start praying in my head and shit. Thinking like, please, God, don't let them pick up the phone. And I don't know if it was just because I was thinking it or what, but God didn't hear me. And they picked up the phone. It was like, come up to the stadium. I got a problem. Click. They on their way. I'm starting to get a little scared, but I was already in too deep. So I was just like, bet I'll see them when they get here and walked away. So uh, they get there, and I see them, but I'm still trying to pretend like I didn't see them, but uh, they saw me, so. So they walk up to me, led by Queen Psycho herself, and the fucking three expendables behind her. I didn't know what to think. I was scared as shit. Are you serious? This bitch is called Arnold Schwarzenegger, Bruce Willis, and Sylvester Stallone up here to come beat my ass. I was scared as fuck. I didn't say nothing. Now she hype, like she could just smell the fear on me or something. She getting all in my face like, what's up now, bitch? What you gonna say now? Not shit. That's what I thought. I was just standing there not saying shit, you know, just like she had thought. And uh, I start to realize just what level of crazy this bitch is. Yeah, there's levels to this shit. And the more I didn't say anything, the more crazy this bitch got. She start clapping her syllables and shit. She like, bitch, say something. Pull out a lighter, put it under my chin and spark it. She like, bitch, I'ma set your ass on fire. She lucky I didn't have no damn chin hairs yet or I'd be pissed. Now at this point, I remember that I got a knife in my pocket for protection. And now seems like a good time for protection, you know what I'm saying? Pull it out, flick it open, you know what I'm saying? Smooth as shit. And the tables just turned instantly. Like, now they all silent. Now I'm starting to get hype. I'm starting to look crazy. I'm like, bitch, what you gonna say now? Not shit. That's what I thought. So now none of them saying shit. And I start to realize that I won. So I put the knife away. Uh, walk back to my seat and start enjoying the game again. Five minutes later, Officer Titus, uh, we all called him Officer Tight Ass. He come up to me. He like, you got a knife? I'm like, no. 
He was like, well, I'm going to search you. I was like, oh, God, please don't take me to jail. It's in my front pocket. You can have it. Take it out of my pocket. And he started walking me out the stadium. And uh, he didn't arrest me or anything. He didn't put me in no handcuffs. But I still put my hands behind my back to look cool. You know what I'm saying? Everybody watched me get walked out by Officer Tight Ass. They're like, ooh. I was like, yeah, from the cradle to the grave. Fuck life, bitch. After that, they basically just kicked my ass out of school. I got expelled for the rest of the year. Uh, apparently, you can't have a knife on school grounds or some shit. I don't know. Moral of the story is, uh, if you pull out a knife, use that shit. Because that's where I fucked up. I left witnesses, you know what I'm saying? Lesson learned.